for all you skincare lovers out there, I am going to do my morning skincare routine with you guys. I'm going to go through all the products that I use in the morning every single day and I do kind of switch up my routine as you guys know. You know, I don't do the exact same thing every day. I kind of see how my skin feels, what it needs, and all that type of stuff. But I'm going to share exactly what I use and what I've been doing and basically for the last couple of months this has been my go-to morning routine. So as some of you guys know and some of you might not know, I work with a leading cosmetic surgeon here in Atlanta, Dr. Silver. He is just the most amazing, amazing doctor. He actually, a lot of you guys probably don't know, he actually used to train Dr. Paul Nassif of Beverly Hills from the show Botched. He is like really good friends with him. He's trained him and he's been to his house many times. He's like, he just like, he goes around the world and like trains other doctors. He's just absolutely amazing. And actually because of his reputation and because of who he is, that is the reason that we get to sell all these top medical grade skincare lines over the internet, you know, with being authorized and all that stuff. We have permission because of his reputation. And we do have our skincare site, Premier Look. That is where Dr. Silver's, all of his patients and customers can easily access these great medical grade products without always having to step into the doctor's office. So with that being said, I do only use medical grade skincare products. Being that I've worked in the skincare field now for a long time, I have just seen, you know, clinical trial after clinical trial of how medical grade skincare just hands down blows away any type of over-the-counter skincare. I actually did a whole video on medical grade skincare versus over-the-counter skincare. I'll link that down below if you guys want to see a more in-depth kind of look at why there's such a big difference between the two. But basically, medical grade skincare is can only be labeled medical grade after it goes through so many tests to prove that it can change the skin and get into those deeper layers of skin that any over-the-counter skincare cannot reach. So once it goes through all those tests and it proves that it can get into those deep layers and actually change your skin, that is when it can be labeled a medical grade skincare. And honestly, I wish more people on YouTube would know of medical grade skincare. So many people just don't even know about it. They don't even realize it exists because nobody talks about it. There's no commercials about it. It's just, you know, if you go to the dermatologist, if you go to the cosmetic surgeon, you'll see these type of products in their offices and you have to purchase them from a doctor because they do get deeper into your skin and you will see changes with these skincare products. Okay, so enough little background about me and my background with skincare. Let's just jump into my morning routine. Okay, so when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I do is head on into the bathroom and wash my face. Now I have two cleansers that I kind of rotate and I will tell you about that in a minute. But the first one I'm gonna share with you guys is by this Epiance line. This is a new product line from Premier Look and I've been using this cleanser now for probably about two months and I love it. Epiance is a botanically based medical grade skincare line. So all of their ingredients are all natural, paraben free, fragrance free, non comedogenic, and they're just, you know, really good for any type of sensitive and reactive skin. I love this because it really cleanses my skin. It like levels out the oil in your skin. It helps, you know, remove makeup. It helps control breakouts and it does not dry out your skin. A lot of times when you have oily skin and you're using cleansers for oily skin, what they do is they strip those natural oils. And then when they strip those natural oils off your skin, your skin works to bring back that oil and then you actually end up getting more oil production because your skin is fighting to get that oil back to your skin. So this takes away all the oil and clears your pores without drying out your skin. And I just love the way this feels on my skin. It has some menthol in it, so it gives you that tingly, clean sensation that we all love. So this is Epiance's cleanser for oily skin. Now they do make two other cleansers. They make a milky lotion cleanser and that's for the dry skin. And then they make a foaming gel cleanser and that's for normal skin. And I can tell you guys, every single one of their cleansers is fan Fantastic. The Milky Cleanser for dry skin, we have just heard so many positive things about how it just really hydrates the skin and makes your skin feel amazing for those dry skin patients. So cleansers in this line, I can just tell you I love so much, along with some other products from this line. And if you guys want me to do like a full product review on this Epiance line, let me know because I have been super impressed with a lot of their products. But this is the cleanser I basically use morning and night on most days. And then this is the one that I keep in my shower. This is the Glow Therapeutics, the 10% Glycolic Cleanser. 
This I keep in the shower and I use probably about three mornings every week. And what I do is when I'm in the shower, I just, it's like a gel. I will just take it and I will just rub it on my skin and I will actually let it on my skin for probably about three minutes. And what glycolics do is they really pull up any of that dry, dead skin cells that, you know, if you're using a Retin-A or if you just have naturally dry skin, it will actually like lift that dead skin cells. They will, it will lift it and you'll, you'll be able to remove those dead skin cells. So glycolics are amazing just for kind of pulling off those dead skin dry patches and all that gunky stuff that clogs your pores. Glycolics are just amazing. And speaking of pores, glycolics will help, you know, clean out those pores. And when you clean out those pores, your pores will look smaller. So we always want to degunk those pores and a glycolic cleanser like this is amazing. Now this one is a 10% glycolic, which is very, you know, it's pretty potent. So you will feel a little tingle with this and it really works. It gives you the most glowing skin after you use this. So like I said, I keep this in the shower and I basically will leave it on for a good three minutes and then wash it off. And I do that about three mornings a week and I usually stick to mornings with this product because I use Retin-A a lot of times at night and you don't want to use the glycolic before Retin-A. So I usually stick to my glycolic cleanser. I stick that in my shower and I use that in the morning. So after my skin is all washed and clean, I do use a toner every single time I wash my face because what a toner is gonna do is just gonna, going to reset that pH balance in your skin. And then it also prepares the skin for any products that are you know, coming after it. So I never skip a toner. This is the one I've been using. It's the SkinCeuticals, the Equalizing Toner. It says it's the pore refining toner for combination or oily skin. I love this one. It comes in a pump. And what I do is I just take my cotton round or whatever I'm using, spray it on my cotton round and just, you know, add it to my skin like that. Or you can spray it. Brian just takes the thing and sprays it all over himself. But this equalizing toner is just great for oily skin. It is alcohol free. And it just, again, really helps to control the oil on your skin. And I just love it. I think it's a very gentle yet effective toner. And I've been loving this. And I use this morning and night too. Okay, so here is where my skincare has changed a little bit. Right after I use my toner, the very first thing I put on my skin in the morning is the Epions, this is the Lytic Sport TX. These Epions Lytics are so amazing, guys. So what basically the Lytic is, now there's three different versions. There's the Light Lytic, there is the Lytic Plus, and then there's the Lytic Sport TX. And basically what they are is they are a combination of salicylic acid and azelaic acid. And basically what these do is they will help to overturn the skin cells just like a Retin-A does. They will help overturn the skin cells by, you know, exfoliating gently on the skin. And with that azelaic acid that's in each of these, what azelaic acid is, is it's super, super for anti-inflammatory reasons. So basically the basis behind these lytic products are that when you have some type of inflammation in your skin, it causes collagen breakdown in your skin and it causes aging. So what these aim to do with that azelaic acid in them is it controls that inflammation and it knocks out the inflammation. And also, like I said, it has salicylic acid in it as well, which is going to overturn the skin cells, exfoliate your skin in a gentle way, and it's also gonna smooth the texture of your skin and really help with pore size. And like I said, there's three different Lytic products. One is made for sensitive dry skin and one is made for normal skin. And then the Sport TX is made for oily skin and it also has like oil control in it as well. And then the other thing quite interesting with these Lytic products are if you use a Lytic product followed by, you know, it doesn't have to be directly followed by, you'll see where I use mine. If you use one of their renewal facial lotions, and again, there's one for every skin type, it actually does the exact same thing as a Retin-A .05, where it helps shed skin cells and builds and thickens the collagen dermal level of your skin. These are really beneficial, and they're amazing, and they're super if you can't use a Retin-A um, because of your rosacea or psoriasis or any type of really hypersensitive skin, and you can't use a Retin-A, this is going to be like your best friend, and it's just, I love it. Love, can you tell I love this product? But I use this right after my toner. Okay, so after I use my Lytic product, I move on to my anti-aging serum. And with an anti-aging serum, because it's a serum, you wanna put that on one of the very first things after your toner. Now, before I was using the Lytic, I would put this on first, right after my toner. But with that Lytic, you wanna get that on right after your toner. So now I put my anti-aging serum right after the Lytic. So I'm gonna share with you guys my two top 
anti-aging serums. I do rotate these. Now I don't rotate them like every other day or something. I will use one of them for, you know, a couple months and then I'll switch to the next one because your skin will get used to skincare products if you use them for like years at a time. So it's super good to have, you know, other options of what it's gonna work really well for your skin, but you know, it's good to switch it up a little bit. So I'm gonna share with you the good old Skin Medica TNS Essential Serum. You guys have seen me talk about this so many times. It is the one that has the dual chamber, so you get two separate products in this. You actually get their Recovery Complex, which is that red kind of gel formula. That comes out the one side, and then you also get a side that has tons of antioxidants, tons of peptides, growth factors, you name it, this product has it. And I can tell you, you will see phenomenal results with this product. I see people in Dr. Silver's office all the time. They're like in their 40s and 50s and they swear by this because it literally will take lines away. This is one of the best anti-aging serums you will ever find. It is expensive, but like I said, if you are serious about your skincare, you really should put if you can, the majority of your budget for skincare into a good anti-aging serum because that is where you're gonna see the biggest, biggest results. So this one and the Neocutis Bio Serum, you guys have heard me talk about this one a lot too. This is an amazing, amazing serum as well. It has you know, a lot of the growth factors and peptides and same things as the TNS serum. This one is just phenomenal too. I can't say enough good things about both of these serums. And again, I'd say I use this one for, say I go through like two bottles of this, then I will switch it up and use like two bottles of this and just kind of go back and forth between my two favorite serums here. And both of these serums can be used morning or morning and night or just at night. It's kind of just depends on where you want to put them in your routine. And sometimes I do actually switch it up and use my serum at night. So it just kind of depends on pretty much, you know, what I'm, what I'm using for the day. And I'll get into that more in my nighttime skincare as well but um, I do usually use a serum in the morning too. So after I put my anti-aging serum on is when I use my eye cream. And the reason I do it at this point is because I put my serum on and I pat it into my skin and I pat the serum around my eyes too. So I get that serum working, you know, in around the eye area as well. And then I go in and I put my eye cream on top of that. And what I'm using right now, and you guys have seen me talk about this so many times too, is the Skin Medica TNS. I repair. This stuff is again, no joke. This eye cream is so anti-aging, so hydrating. It will plump the eye area. It will take away little lines. I mean, it is just a phenomenal anti-aging eye treatment. And then the other eye product that I use a lot during the day is the SkinCeuticals AOX Plus Eye Gel. And I wish I had it here to share with you guys today, but for the life of me, I could not find it this morning. I went to use it this morning and could not find it. So it was probably Brian. He probably used it this morning and put it somewhere and I don't know where he put it. But it is an amazing antioxidant for your eye area. And if you guys saw my antioxidant video, if not, I will link it down below. But if you did see it, then you know how insanely important antioxidants are for our daily skincare. So this antioxidant for your eyes is just an amazing product. It helps with lines and wrinkles. It helps with darkness under your eye. But again, it really protects the eye area from free radicals and the aging of the under eye area. Because the under eye area is so much more delicate, so much more sensitive than any other part of our face, having an antioxidant specifically for that part of your skin is just amazing. So I love that product and I pretend I have it right here. It's super amazing. That is just another eye treatment that I use during the day. Okay, so that is where I fit in my eye cream. So basically what is on our skin right now is just our lytic and our anti-aging serum. So what I do after that is that is when I actually apply my antioxidant for my face. I am using the SkinCeuticals, the Florentine CF, which this is the one for oily skin. If you have more normal to dry skin, you wanna use the CE for Rulic. But again, this is just a little antioxidant dropper form like this. And I just take a couple drops into my fingers, rub them together and pat it all over my skin. And I actually go down my neck and chest with that antioxidant as well. And SkinCeuticals makes the best antioxidants. I just absolutely love these. I have tried so many antioxidants and the SkinCeutical ones by far just are my absolute favorite. I was using the CE Ferulic like in the winter when my skin was more dry. And I can tell you that both of them are just truly amazing products. I just seriously love my antioxidants so much. They're so beneficial for your skin. Not only do they protect your skin from all those aging factors that are hitting our skin every day, but they will brighten your skin tone and just give you a more glowing skin. 
and they're just fabulous. I mean, you don't have to use the SkinCeuticals antioxidants if you don't want. There are plenty of other options, medical grade as well. Obagi makes great vitamin Cs. Those are the Pro-C serums. I use them for years. Um, they're amazing. The Skin Medica Vitamin C and E is another good one. All of them are going to give you the best protection for your skin. So antioxidants are just super important. Okay, moving on down the line here. After I put on my antioxidant is where I put on some hydrating moisture to my skin. Right now, I will show you guys what I've been using. I've been using the SkinCeuticals, the Hydrating B5 Gel. This comes in a dropper form as well, and it is kind of like a gel slash serum. Let me put some in my hand and see if you guys can see kind of what this looks like. So it just comes out like this, and it's, ah, it is pretty runny, but when you, pat, you know, I take it in my fingers and pat it on my face, and it literally sinks into your skin. So this is a hyaluronic acid based product. So basically what that is, is hyaluronic acid is found naturally in our bodies and it is a moisture in our bodies that helps to keep our skin plump. And as we age, we naturally start producing less and less hyaluronic acid in our bodies. And that is when you start seeing like the fine lines and wrinkles because your skin is pretty much deflating and it's not as plump as it used to be. So this type of hyaluronic acid is going to really just hydrate from within. It's gonna really help boost that moisture level within, like deep within your skin. So I never go a day without my hyaluronic acid product either. I just absolutely love them. I love the way they feel on my skin. I can see changes with my skin when I use them and they're just going to be beneficial for the long term of your skin. So again, this is the this is the SkinCeuticals Hydrating B5 Gel. And the other one I'm gonna share with you guys because I do rotate back and forth between these two as well. It's the Neocutis Hyalis. And again, this is a hyaluronic acid serum as well. And this one comes out of a pump. And again, it looks pretty much the same and it does the same type of thing. So, you know, between these two, these are my favorite, favorite hyaluronic acid. So I was showing you guys the two anti-aging serums that I kind of like rotate between. These are the two hyaluronic acid serums that I rotate between. I love both of these. Okay, so now that we have our hyaluronic acid working deep within our skin to plump and moisturize from within, I go to my moisturizer. A lot of people think that if you have oily skin that you don't need to use a moisturizer, but the fact is if you have oily skin, you can actually still have dehydrated skin. I always use a moisturizer. There's moisturizers for dry skin. There's moisturizers for oily skin. It's all about finding the right one for you. So this is what I've been using lately as for me and I have more oily skin right now. This is the Epion's The Renewal Light Facial Lotion. And I have been absolutely loving these Epion's Renewal Moisturizers. They are fabulous. So again, the Epion's Renewal Lotions come one for dry skin, oily skin, there is one for every type of skin. And I've just been super impressed with this. I've been using it every single day for my moisturizer for the day. Let me actually read exactly more in depth of what they do because it is more than just a moisturizer. Okay, so basically the Renewal Facial Creams were the first Epion's product introduced to the market. It embodies the foundation of the Epion's philosophy to repair the skin barrier and help stop chronic inflammation of the skin. That's what I was talking to you guys about before. All of the renewal facial products incorporate two of the Epion's ingredient technologies, which is the anti-inflammatory technology and the barrier repair technology. Epion's is all about barrier repair because your skin, your skin's barrier gets damaged every single day. And then the Epion's products really work to repair your skin's barrier. So basically the key benefits of the renewal facial products are they reverse the signs of aging, such as fine lines and wrinkles, reduces redness and other chronic conditions. It will help smooth the skin texture and even out the skin tone. So that's basically the background on their renewal facial products. So it is just more than a moisturizer. It is anti-aging. This repairs that, you know, inflammation as well as repairing the skin's barrier, which is a huge, huge benefit in skincare. So I've been absolutely loving this as my moisturizer. Okay, final step in my morning skincare routine. And I swear, I've been talking for like an hour, but it literally only takes me five minutes to do this in the morning. So the last thing I use in my morning skincare routine are my SPFs. So I use my SPF every single day. If it is cloudy outside, if it is raining outside, if it is bright and sunny outside, I have my SPF on. And again, that is the last thing I put on before I put my makeup on. So the two SPFs that I've been using and loving are the SkinCeuticals Phys Physical Fusion UV Defense this is the Broad Spectrum SPF 50 UVA UVB. It is a physical, like I said, it is a physical sunscreen and it has a tint to it, which is the part that I love the most. This sunscreen is basically made for all skin types, no matter if you have dry skin or oily skin, it just pretty much soaks into your skin and you do not feel it. I absolutely love it. Again, this is one that comes out in a tinted formula 
and it is more on the liquidy side and like I said it literally just blends into your skin you do not feel this on your skin at all it's amazing so I love that one and the other one I will use and love just the same it is the Elta MD the UV physical this is the broad spectrum SPF 41 again this is a tinted formula again this goes on my skin and it just you don't feel it so I, uh, this one's also good for extra sensitive and post procedure skin it says so anyone again can use this if you have dry if you have sensitive if you have oily skin it basically just works for all skin types and it is amazing I love the way this feels on my skin so those are the two sunscreens that I use you know during the day I will put one of them on I love both of them Elta MD and SkinCeuticals just make phenomenal sunscreens you cannot go wrong and the thing with the Elta MD is they actually are such a phenomenal line that they have a sunscreen for like every single skin type. So if you think you cannot find a sunscreen because you have sensitive skin or if you have acne prone skin, they have a sunscreen that is going to work for you. So no excuses on those sunscreens. You need to wear your sunscreen every day. Okay guys, that is my routine every single morning. That is what I do before I put my makeup on. To me, skincare is more important than makeup if you don't have a good base. No matter what makeup you're using, it is not going to look good. So I will always take care of my skin. That's my top priority. It's going to help you look younger as you get older. It's just going to make your makeup look better. Skincare is where it's at, guys. And I just wanted to share my routine with you guys. If you have any questions, leave them for me down below. I'd be glad to answer all your questions. And everything will be linked down below as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. I am sure this is going to be a longer video. So I appreciate you being here with me. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.